Hey guys, Carrot Sif here with another Yokai Mel unboxing video. This time I'll be opening up a box of Yokai Mel Treasure Zero Two Packs. So we now have our second set of Treasure Mel's, featuring two more Hiho Yokai, and advertising a couple of more Hiho Yokai emblems, as well as a bunch of new Yokai related to Yokai Watch Busters Treasure. So, on the side we can see that the gold rank yokai have the Kengo or Swordsman Yoki Charge. The, the silver rank have the Hiho or Treasure Yoki Charge. And you can see the two potential Hiho Yokai Mel's as well. So as usual, one box comes with 20 packs, each with one Mel, so 20 Mel total. And this does have YC chip functionality. Additionally, like with the previous sets I've been getting, I bought two boxes of this, one of which I've already opened. So I'll be opening this one on camera, compiling everything together, and showing you guys what I got overall. So, open up the box, and then we can get started. Alright, so with the box now open, let's take a look at one of the packs, then start opening them. So, you can see the pack art here with our two Hiho Yokai and their emblems. And you can also see that this set features our first legend treasure mail, which is of Last Bushinyan. Along with some of the other yokai you can get in this set. So, let's get started. Start off with pack one. We have actually one of two. Well, okay, this isn't actually, this may not be a Legend Metal, but uh, this is at least a gold rank, and this is, well, I forget this guy's name. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll remember his name later. Sorry about that. In fact, two. We have the first of the two Hiho Yokai Metals. Yamato Bokeru. In pack three, we have a silver rank, Tsubaki Hime. In pack four, we've got Zombie Chopper, which is a bronze rank. In pack five, we have the other Hiho Yokai. El Dragon in pack six we got a silver rank Tsujigumo for pack seven we have silver rank Ogama for pack eight. We got Las Bushinyan! Awesome! For pack 9, we have a silver rank Fuyunyan. In pack 10, we have Neko Nisei, bronze rank. In pack 11, We got bronze rank Dokaku. Pack 12. We have another Dokaku. Pack 13. We have Pinto Corn, bronze rank. Pack 14. We have another Pinto Corn. Pack 15. We have a silver rank, Sky Shariman. For pack 17. Actually, this is the actual pack 16. Again, I lost track. Of, or lost count, rather. Actual pack 16. We have another Sky Shariman. For pack 17. We have bronze rank. Bad Boya. 
pack 18. We have another bad boy, yeah? In pack 19. We have D Rex. And in pack 20, another D Rex. So, I will pile or compile these together with my medals from the first set and show you what I got overall. So, I've compiled together all the different medals and I got a bit luckier with this set than I did with the last one as I managed to get all 20 standard medals plus one variant. So, of them, the variety or the sprout is 7 bronze medals, 6 silver medals, 4 gold medals, 1 legend medal, and 2 he ho medals. Plus I got one variant, so we'll go over them one by one. First off, we have the bronze rank zombie chopper. And you guys might remember that the silver rank version came with the Yokai Chain Sword. And this guy is a member of the Buster's Treasure Team who wields the Yokai Chain Sword and is part zombie, part human. Next is Neko Nisei, or Cat Second in English, a baby pharaoh cat yokai, who's another member of the Buster Treasure Team. Of that we have D Rex. Then Pinto Corn. Then we have Otakara Modoki. Now he doesn't normally come with this Kuchibu charge on, but I actually had it on there from some toying around. Then Dokaku. Then Bad Boya. After that we get into the silver ranks starting with Sky Shariman. And these have the Hiho charge on them. Hmm. 
Ben Sakikan. Next is Fu Yunyan. Next we have Tsuchikumo. Then Ogama. Let's do it again. Then Tsubaki Hime. And you get into the gold ranks, starting off with Kusanagi. Then Rubinyan. Kenko! Kenko sold it. Nani Yori Death. Rubinyan! Kurichi! Gold! Jonet Red Dikoku! Kenko! Next up is Ebisu. Kenko! Kenko sold it. Nani Yori Death. Ebisu!
and that is Jurojin, whose name I previously had forgotten. Then we get to our legend medal, last Buchinyan. We get to our Hiho Yokai. First is Yamato Bokeru. Yamato Bokeru. And lastly, El Dragon. El Dragon. El Dragon. Let me just fix the camera. And they also got the variant medal for El Dragon, which shows him performing his special attack. And I'll go over more about those two Hiho Yokai when I look at their emblems. And there we go! Overall, this is another cool and exciting set of Yokai medals. Again, it's a nice mix of a few new Yokai, plus some Kunu medals for older Yokai. I still like the ranking system of bronze to silver to gold to Hiho and Legend, as it does help give a better sense of rarity. And I also still like the distribution of the medals in this boxes, as you know, while you are guaranteed to get a few duplicate medals, mostly of the bronze commons, you still do seem to be guaranteed to get both of the standard Hiho medals, in addition to at least one secret rare medals, which is either a variant of the Hiho Yokai or one of the one of the kind medals. In this case, I got one of the variants from the first box, and then the last Bushinyan medal from the second. Though there is also a secret medal in the set that is not listed amongst the others, so I have no idea what that could be. But where it is, I didn't get it. That being said, I am definitely still enjoying collecting these, and I look forward to more Treasure Metal sets. Next time, I'll be doing my last video on my Toka Toy Theory series on Drive, where I'll be looking at Type Crideron. Thanks for watching. If you, enjoyed, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.